I've used ChatGPT to recreate 2D classics like Mario, Sonic, Plants vs. Zombies, and Geometry Dash. But what happens when we step it up to 3D? This time, I'm putting it to the test with Doom, one of the most iconic 3D games ever. Can ChatGPT handle the challenge or will it crash and burn? Let's find out. The first step is generating all of the art and I'll be relying entirely on AI. The program I'll be using for this is called Design. But what's really cool about Design is that they have this game section where you can do like a sketch to art, 2D to 3D, generate concept art, and all these other ones. I wanna try like a 3D style. We're gonna go with the Design 3D Render V1. So yeah, we're in the text to image. So my plan was to ask ChatGPT to describe the Kako demon so I can use it as a prompt for design. And let's see what design can make us. A large floating demon, blah, blah, blah. Paste it in. And let's just see what we got. Yo, this one's sick. I kind of like them both though. I'm gonna try a couple more. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> this one's probably the most accurate because it has like the smile. It has the green eye in the middle. So I think I'm gonna go with this one download okay on to the next now it's time for the imp sprite which is probably the most iconic we gotta ask ChatGPT to describe the appearance of the sprite aggressive pose boom perfect and now we just gotta let design work its magic Ooh, i feel like that's pretty accurate i do believe so i like this one let's try a couple more let's try a couple more mm. Mm. yo the tail on that one looks kind of sus yo that is sus us. You know what? I think this is the best one, but I'm gonna get rid of its tail because it's kind of sus. Time for the pinky demon sprite. Yo, this is kind of one of my favorites. Look at this absolute beauty. I don't know about this one. You know what? We need to add in bad posture. Wait, that's actually good. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, pinky demon complete. It's time for the lost soul. Base. Let's go with this one. Now I gotta do the pistol and the muzzle flash sprite. Pretty important stuff, actually. This one's pretty good. Uh, this one looks like he's about to shoot himself. So this one's the winner for now, but let's, let's do a couple more. This is just pointing directly at the camera. You know what, what if I do pointing at the camera? Maybe I just need to trick it. Hey, it is pointing at the camera. Oh, okay, dude, I can't win. I can't win. You know what they say, seventh time's a charm. Hey, we might have a winner. We might just have a winner right here. I'm gonna just go with this one, yo. This one's pretty dope. Now for the muzzle flash, there we go. Wall textures and the floor textures. But for these, we don't want 3D. We want more of like, I would say like a realistic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. This is really good. That's also pretty good, but let's go with this one. All right, time for the wall now. Ooh, interesting, okay. That looks a little too cartoony on this one, but I, I do like this one a lot. And that would repeat like infinitely, so download. Now we need a door spray very very simple it's not like an actual door you just open like that you go towards it and then it just like slides up oh okay these are solid uh, i'm gonna go with this one all right now all that we need is the health kit and the ammo spray kind of like a med kit from fortnite okay 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 dang it really just gave me 636 characters bro that's longer than my essays i wrote back in high school hey you know that is actually like perfect bro that that is solid let's download that I don't know why they're just like a random one like sticking on top of that. But this one looks more polished. Let's download this. Now I have all of the final sprites for the game with the transparent backgrounds. And now I can create the project and get to coding with ChatGPT. I'm going to make it a 3D project, but we're just going to be using 2D sprites. All right, so I'm in this blank Unity project. And yeah, the first thing on the to-do list is create a simple environment. So I'm going to do that right now. Just set up like the floor and the walls. This doesn't look bad at all. All right, so now that we've created the simple scene where we can test out different mechanics and stuff, we can put that in the done list. And now it's time for player movement and shooting. First things first, I'm gonna drag this um, pistol into the... That's pretty weird. I never had this happen before. Wait, I think I got it where... Yes, there it is. Okay, that's only a little bit to get. That actually does look 3D, bro. That is kind of strange. So what I wanna do is attach this to the camera. That's perfect, bro. But what good is it if we're just standing in place? It can't even play the game. We need to give it some movement. And of course, we're going to get ChatGPT to do it for us. Make a movement script. FPS. 3D. Doom. Style. Mmm. 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 
course. We gotta copy this code and just paste it in, bro. That's all we do. We're pretty set if we just do what it says here. All right, so it's looking like we may just need to create a bean. Oh no, where is it at? There it is, look at it, bro. Juicy. It'll be the player, but obviously we're not gonna be able to see that. Yo, honestly, why aren't more FPS games made like this? It'd be so much easier. Imagine having like 3D rigs and like animations. Bro, just slap on a 2D spray and you're good to go. Let's just see if it works. Come on. Uh, oh no. What? Wait, we need a character controller on the player. I, I totally forgot about that. For the moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait. Yo, let's go. Oh, wait. We do need to add shooting. I forgot. All right, now to test if the shooting actually works, I'm just gonna drag in an imp as a placeholder. It actually looks 3D. It does, it really does. So I gave it a little collider and, oh wait, it's too big. The collider is too big. That's pretty good. And now I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT to write the shooting script. Okay, so my prompt, we're gonna send it. Looks solid. Uh-oh, looks like we need enemy health script as well. I think I wrote that though. Download it, there it is, paste. Now the player shooting script has no errors. And it gives me all the steps to implement inside the engine. So I'm gonna do this real quick and we will be right back. Wait a second, we need to add in the muzzle flash. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's solid. Okay, yo, we're good to go. Let's see if it works. Took damage, yep. Okay, it's working, it's working, it's working. Look at that. First try, no issues whatsoever. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Let's work on the imp now. Boom, send. Here is the imp AI script it gave us. 98 lines of code. Something like this will take me a couple hours to write or a couple days. It also left us a fireball script. You know what, I think we're good. This is a lot of stuff we just added, so it would be crazy if all this worked. Uh, did I like forget to do something or? I forgot to give the player the player tag. It's facing us. We get into its range, it starts following us. But if we're not in the range, just stand still and clips into the ground. But for the most part, like it actually kind of is working. We just need to up the range of it and make it faster and make it so that it doesn't clip through the ground like that. Easy fix for chat GPT. <laughs> yeah. All right, now it's time to work on the blood particles. To do that, we're gonna use design. I'm gonna go with this one. Blood particle script, right, let's see. Boom, there we go, okay. Looks fine to me, on to the next. All right, now it's time for the Kako demon. I'm gonna drag him in right next to the imp. Um, what? Drag in the Kako demon. There he is, okay. I mean, he is pretty big, yo. All right, let's ask ChatGPT to give him some code. It should be pretty similar to the imp. Base. Uh, we're good to go, I think. Okay, okay. It's hovering up and down. We get to a certain range. It starts firing. We got to make sure that um, the projectiles are aiming at us. All right, I made some tweaks and adjustments. Boom. Okay, it does 15 damage to the player. It moves slower than the imp, but it has a lot more health. So it should take like 15 shots to kill this thing. Or 20. Or 30. Or 40. Or 50. Bro, is this thing got infinite health? Okay, not 10 levels off. It's 15. Dead. There we go. Okay, it works. It works. It works. We're good. Next thing. All right, now it's time for the Pinky Demon. There we go. Thanks. Still around 90 lines of code. That's pretty interesting because Pinky Demon is like the simplest one because it doesn't have any projectiles or anything. Whoa, dude. Let's scale that down a little bit. Scale him down. Should I stretch him out like that? Well, I think that'd be kind of funny. Should I just leave it like that? All right, I think that's a good size for him. Yo, look how goofy this looks, bro. Ah. So yeah, the Pinky Demon is the fastest, um, but only does uh, close range attacks, so it'll do 25 damage, 25 damage. Pretty beefy. And that takes 10 shots to kill. There we go. Now it's time for the final enemy, the Lost Soul. Honestly, my favorite looking enemy. It's just so, it's so devious. This might be the longest script. In theory, it should work. Um, so if it, gets, if it gets close enough, it'll do a charge attack. Hold up, let me just tell it it doesn't work. Okay, this might work. I don't know. Dang, 130 lines of code. That is quite a lot. That is quite a lot. Oh, hey, let's go. It works. Let's go. Let me make sure we can kill it first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, there we go. Now we have all the enemies complete. Now it's time for the next thing, which is the health and ammo pickups that you can get on the ground.
let me take some damage so I can get my health back. Oh shoot, we took 20 damage. Oh no, 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 how am I getting my health back? We're here. Boom, we're at 100. All right, bet, it works. Nice, now we can get our ammo back as well. Okay, bet, all the pickups work, all the enemies work. You know what that means, it's time to work on the levels. Okay, it's been way too long, but I have all of the levels set up. It is time to work on the sound effects. And of course, the first sound effect you need is the shoot sound. Pistol shoot video game. Ooh, that's crisp. Dude, this is so crisp, bro. All right, gotta go with number two. All right, so the shoot sound is done. Now it's time for the bullet hit enemy sound. Oh, yeah, these are all good. That's good, I like that one the most. Let's go to number one. And now it's time for missing the enemy. So when we miss the enemy, we hit like a wall. That's pretty good. Let's go with this. All right, now we need the kill enemy sound effect. This should be pretty interesting. Oh, that is so satisfying. First one is so good. All right, download. Now we need the take damage sound. Bro, what? Yo! Open door sound. That sounds like so realistic. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. I also got some sound effects for the monsters. <laughs> Download. Now that I was done with all the sound effects, I generated the soundtrack. Oh my gosh. Bro, it's always good. Yeah, this is so good. Yo, this might just be the song of the Sigmas. Hold up, I think we're about to get a beat drop. Oh my gosh. This is crazy, oh my gosh. All right, last thing we need is the windscreen. And of course we're gonna use design to make it. So let's do text to image. We can set the aspect ratio right here. I have it set to native. Here's the prompt. Let's go to design, paste that in. Let's generate. This is pretty sick, yo. I'm gonna try again with a slightly different prompt just so it's like more of a windscreen. Cause this is just like, this is like a loading screen. That's tough, that's tough. This is sick. All right, bet, let's download this. There's a feature in design called image to video, and I wanted to give the victory screen like a nice little animation, so I decided to give it a try. All right, the video is done generating. Let's give it a watch. Oh my. Okay, that's perfect. So I thought it'd be cool to test out another feature in design called image to image, where you choose the image you want to use as a reference, and then you can pick from the preset styles they have or create your own style. The first style I wanted to try out was the GTA comic style, and here's how those looked. The next style I tried was minimalist cartoon and I was not disappointed with these. They were just so clean. But the final thing I wanted to do was test my own style and I just got a screenshot of Fortnite and here's how it turned out. I think it was super interesting and there's literally just infinite possibilities with this stuff. I also generated a new pistol sprite with design because I realized that the pistol was facing the camera the whole time. I don't know, I, I must have just like not realized that for some reason. <laughs> also had ChatGPT write me a weapon sway script because it was way too rigid before. All right, now before we get into the gameplay, I would like to mention that that design is hosting a giveaway. One lucky winner will receive a one year design membership. And to enter, all you have to do is sign up to design using the link in the description. And then just leave a comment on this video letting us know which design feature impressed you the most. And that's it. The winner will be randomly selected after two weeks of this video being uploaded.
No! Oh. No! 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 No!